Welcome back to my channel everyone and for another video in this computer organization installment. So we'll be focusing on converting from decimal to hexadecimal. So let's get started on the hexadecimal numbering system. So what we're seeing is that the radix is 16. Let me get this pointer. So it goes from 0 to 9. Then after 9 you go A to F. So What's happening is for hex, it goes from a value from 0 to 15 in all the different numbers. So this side is the decimal value, but this side is the hex, hexadecimal numbers. So you're looking at B, C, D, and E. And as you can see here, 15 corresponds to F, A corresponds to 10, so these are just the values. 11 in decimal form is B in hexadecimal form. 12 in decimal form is C in hexadecimal form, all the way down to 15. So in essence, the hexadecimal format is 0 to 15, but in actuality, it's 0 to 9, and then A to F. So you, it's good to memorize this table but after a while you just understand that 0 to 9 and then it goes from 8 to F. Just remember it's 0 to 15. So how do we do a conversion from decimal to hexadecimal? So what we want to do is we want to repeatedly divide the integer by 16. So as an example over here, 422 of base 10, what is that in hexadecimal format? So we're going to we're going to be dividing it by 16. So 422 divide 16 is 26.375. But we want to keep this number and we want to figure out what's the remainder. So we're going to do 422 minus 26 times 16. And that value comes out to be 422 minus 26 times 16 is 6. So our hex digit is 6. And we're going to take this value that we, we saved and divide by 16. So as you can pretty much show that 16 only goes into 26 perfectly one time. So 26 minus 16, just think about it 16 times one because this one right here, it maps out to this one. We are left with 10, but as you can see here, the value of 10 is the letter A. So we are, are left with A. Then we are left with this one, comes over here. One divides 16. 16 does not go into one, so it's zero. And we are left with a remainder of one. So we read it upwards. So 422 and base 10 equals 1A6 in base 16. All right, so let's see what exactly we have. So as you can see, 422 divide 16, we're left with a quotient of 26 and a remainder of six. We bring this 26, we divide it by 16, 16 only goes into 26 once, and the value is A, which is 10. We take this one, divided by 16. 16 doesn't go into one, not even once. Quotient is zero. The remainder is one, because this is the value that we have. And we read it upwards, and that's how you get the 1A6. So how do we do 85? 85 is the same way. We divide by 16. 85 divide 16. 
equals 5.3125. All we care about is this. Let's find that remainder, 85 minus 5 times 16. And that value comes out to be 5. So this is our hex digit or remainder, whichever one you want to call. Now we are left with five because of this one right over here. So this one and this five are completely separate. They are not the same. So five divide 16. 16 doesn't go into five at all. So it's a big fat zero. And we are left with the remainder on the top. So 55, you read it upwards, since they're both the same number, reading it, it's going to be the same thing. So 85 base 10 equals 55 base 16. 245, a bigger number. Same thing, you're going to repeat it division by 16. 245 divide 16 is 15.3125. All we care about is this pretty much. 245 minus 15 times 16 equals 15 times 16. The remaining value is five. Hex digit. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this 15 divided by 16. 16 doesn't go into 15 whatsoever, so it's a big fat zero. We are left with 15, and that corresponds on the graph to value F. Read it upwards. So our value for 245 base 10 is F5 base 16. So how do we do decimal fractions into X? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a repeated a repeated multiplication of 16. So we're gonna take the first value, 6689, and we're gonna multiply it by 16, and we're gonna take out whatever digit is in, is in the integer place. So over here, this is the product, it's gonna be 10, 0.7024. All we care about is this. We're going to keep that as our hex digit. And a 10 maps out to A. So that's how we get this A digit right here. We're going to take this and multiply that by 16 to find the, the, the hex digit, which will be 11, 2, 3, 8, 4. We care about this integer value and 11 maps out to B. Then we're going to keep going. 2, 3, 8, 4 times 16 maps out to 3.8144. We care about this. Maps out to 3. And we can keep going and keep going. So the way you read it in fraction form you read it down. So for 0 0.6689 in base 10 is A, B, 3, D, and 0. I'm doing these right here. I did not show you them because uh, we can just keep doing the same, same thing over and over and over. But this is the answer in hexadecimal format. So we'll do our own, we'll do 27.5. So just like we do in the other ones, we separate the integer and fraction part since they have their own set of ways to find the hexadecimal format. So just like we did in the first part of the video, 27 divides 16 goes into it once perfectly and there's a remainder of 11. So our hex digit is B. 
So what I'm just doing is 27 divided 16. If we want to know the exact hex digit, it is 1 1.6, 1 1.6875. But we, we can tell that it goes in here once, so it doesn't matter. We're left with the remainder of, of 11, and that matches up to B. We take this one, divide that by 16, divide that by 16, 16 goes into one zero times. We are left with one. Now, what do we do over here? What do we do over here? So 0 0.5 times 16 equals 8.0. We take this eight and we try to multiply the zero times 16, but zero times 16 is zero and will always be zero. So we care about no values under that. We just care about the eight. So we read this part up and we read this part down. So the actual value of 27.5 in base 10 equals 1B.8 in base 16. Next one, 111.75. So we have our integer part here, integer, and our fraction part over here. Again, we do repeated division by 16 over here. 111 divide 16, we are left with 6.9375. We can do that same remainder type of subtraction. We care about this digit right here. 16 times six, and what's our X digit? So 111 minus 16 times six leaves us with 15. And if we look at the graph, 15 corresponds to F. Then we have six divide 16. 16 goes into that zero times, and we are left with a remaining value of six. And we read this upwards. For the fraction part, we want to multiply the the fraction by 16. So let's figure that out. 0.75 times 16 leaves us with 12.0. So it's going to be 6F for the integer part. 12 corresponds to C. So we are left with 6FC in base 16. Base 16. And now for a little bit tougher one, let's try that one more time. We separate times 16. We can we can do the fraction first. Times 16. 0 0.98 times 16 gives us 15.68. We care about this, so that's F. So we take this 0.68 and we multiply that by 16. What does that leave us? 0.68 times 16 is 10.88. We care about this. That maps out to be A. We do 0.88 times 16. is 14.08. We care about the 14. And that maps out to be E. And we read down for internal, for fraction parts. Let's move on over here. We do the integer part. We do repeated division by 16. So 1,234 divide 16 leaves us with 77. 0.125. We do our little trying to figure out what's the remainder. Our subtraction 77 times 16 equals hex. 
minus 77 times 16 leaves us with 2. Now we take the 77, divide that by 16. 77 divide 16 leaves us with 4.8125. Same thing. 77 minus 4 times 16. Leaves us with 13, 13, and that is D. We are left with 4. We divide that by 16. 16 goes into 4 zero times, and we are left with 4. We read up for integer parts. We read down for fraction parts. So 4, D, 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4.98 in base 10 equals 4D2. And for this part, we read down. So F, A, E, and base 16. Well, that's all for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to hear from me again, please leave a like comment, and subscribe for some more educational content and computer organization courses. Have a nice day.